In this video, we are gonna show you guys this new system we just deployed here at St. John's Lutheran Church in Napa, California. We have two LED screens, one that is stage right, and then over here, you'll see the second screen that is stage left. So this is a very unique situation when it comes to the rigging. We are actually doing a combination of flying these screens as well as doing a wall mount. Um, and that's what we had to do to make these types of screens work in this space. As you can see, this is a very traditional worship space. It's a beautiful space, lots of stained glass, has a traditional architecture to it, um, but we're still able to deploy a cutting edge technology with altitude LED panels. The panels we deployed here are the cloud panel. So the cloud is the thinnest panels that we make, and it's great for a deployment like this, especially when we are flying them. It's gonna be a permanent install. These panels do not need to be portable or taken down. Um, they're gonna be fixed here in this position. So they are super thin, and they are all front serviceable. So on the back side of them, it looks super clean. You're not seeing a bunch of cabling and such on the back of the panel. So not that the audience is up here. This is usually where the pastor, maybe a choir would be, um, but it looks very clean from the back side. And again, you can kind of see we've got uh, a few cables that are supporting it from the structural beams up there. And then it's also mounted to the wall on the other half of the screen. This is a great example of how the cloud panels are great in both application, whether it's going to be flown or wall mounted. You can see how thin they are. If you're gonna mount them to a wall, you're not really losing any space um, on your stage or wherever you're gonna be mounting them because they are just so thin. In my opinion, LED technology is modern day stained glass. You know, stained glass has been around for centuries. It's been a really powerful visual way to tell the, the story of the gospel uh, for people who come into your worship spaces. And today it's really cool to see actual stained glass in this room combined with the stained glass image that I put here on the screen. I actually just took a simple camera photo of their stained glass. I loaded it into ProPresenter and created this cool custom background for them to deploy on their LED screens. So if you're in a traditional space and you're worried about having black LED screens uh, in there, if you're not needing to display any content for events like weddings or funerals, uh, where maybe you just don't need that additional visual content, you can just throw up something like this that's custom, can really fit the aesthetic and vibe of your space. And these days with technology like uh, AI image generation, you could, you could literally just load in a photo of some aspect of your church, uh, the architectural design, and you could even tell AI, like, hey, make me an image that will fit with this style and it will look good on my LED screen and it'll probably spit out something similar to this. So there's lots of ways that you can uh, achieve these types of results, whether you're trying to create your own stock photography of places in your space, or if you wanna use uh, AI image generation. Here we are back at the rack room here, and we have our VX600 processor by Novastar. So the processor is what takes the video feed that we want to send to the LED wall, and then it sends the video feed to all of the panels. So in this setup, each panel on each side requires two CAT cables. Um, so we have four cables total running the length of the room to the panels. And then from there, uh, the panels, when you remove the front LED modules, you'll see all the cabling under them and that's how the data and power connections are made. So this is the brain for the panels and in most cases, you're gonna configure this once and it's done, right? You're gonna, the settings will just remember uh, the way it needs to be configured for your particular LED panel setup and it's good to go. When you power it on and off, you don't have to think about it. Right below our video processor, we have our ATEM video switcher. So we are using the power of the ATEM video switcher and its ability to uh, route video to different uh, destinations. I think it has about, this one has six outputs. This is the 1ME switcher. So we have six outputs from this switcher and we can assign to those outputs whatever input, input source we want. So we have our ProPresenter computer graphics screen that's going out of the deck link on the back of this XMAC mini server here. The computer's in here, the deck link's on the back, and the video goes out over SDI into our video switcher, one of the inputs. So that input can be used for our live stream feed as well as this, that same input is given its own unique output from the switcher to go to the processor. So once again, computer outputs over the deck link to the ATEM, to the processor, 
and it gets to the screen. So here I'm at the video workstation where they're cutting video for their live stream. And this is also a convenient spot where we set up a stream deck. If I go up a page to page two, these are actually gonna be my video outputs for my LED screens. So I can actually switch between right now, it's on computer graphics, which is the lyrics and backgrounds from ProPresenter. If I hit cam one, now I'm just getting a clean feed from cam one. And then if I hit program, you're actually getting the same program feed that gets sent online. And we have the lower thirds lyrics, just what you, like what you see here on program that's, that's up there on the screens. So these are some integration solutions you want to think about as you're deploying an LED screen is to have that flexibility where not only is it going to display content like backgrounds, uh, lyrics, sermon slides, announcement slides, it may also be a really great tool for, for iMag here. Um, here at the Lutheran Church, you guys, you baptize babies, right? So let's say they're baptizing a baby and they wanna be able to zoom in on that and show that happening. Well, they could actually, for the people in the back here who can't see that far, they could zoom a camera in, these are PTZ cameras, and they could have a really great shot that then gets uh, magnified onto the screens up there and then everybody can be a part of that uh, experience more fully. And it works the same way at Baptist Church as well. If you, if you want to show the baptizing adults, it'll work exactly the same way. Well, that wraps up this case study of this Altitude LED system. Um, definitely make sure you check out the links below this video. If you want to reach out to the Altitude LED team, we would love to work alongside you to build a custom LED system for your church, whether it's gonna be flown, wall mounted, ground support. We've got our cloud panel, we've got the Apex panel. You can learn all about it on our site and just don't hesitate to reach out for a quote today. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.